What's up guys, I'm Taylor with TK Disc Golf. In today's video, we're gonna be taking the Pixel from Simon Lazat's new line of disc and comparing it to all the other MVP Axiom and Streamline putters that they make. Now, we already did a review video on this last week, so if you missed that video, be sure to check it out. But in this video, I just wanted to compare the side profiles because a lot of comments on our review video were saying, hey, how is this gonna compare to an Atom? Or how's it gonna compare to the Spin or the Watt or whatever putter from the MVP brands you are putting with? A lot of those questions are coming in. So I'm not gonna be throwing every single one of these discs in this video I just want to show side profile comparisons for you so you can at least get a good idea how this thing's gonna feel in your hand and then obviously based on parting line height you have a general idea of how it's gonna fly for you so let's dive right in first disc we're gonna take a look at compared to the pixel is the nomad from James Conrad's line it's got the flight numbers two speed four glide zero turn and one fade this is an electron version obviously and you can tell that the profile is a little bit lower than the pixel but it's not too drastically slim PLH is obviously quite a bit higher than the pixels thus that extra stability once you flip the discs over this is really where it shows off how tall the pixel actually is with that higher shoulder more depth to it Next disc we're going to look at is the Ohm Flight Numbers 2 Speed 501. And honestly, this is only offered in Neutron Plastic, but I figured somebody out there actually putts with one of these. So I figured I'd throw it in here since it's an offering from MVP. PLH, obviously pretty spot on to where the pixel is at, but you can really tell the Ohm is drastically slimmer profile, especially when you flip them over, you can see the huge difference in the amount of shoulder and just overall height that the pixel has. So if you're used to putting with an Ohm, pixel is going to feel drastically different to you in the hand. And moving on to the watt, same core as the ohm, I believe, but flight numbers two, five, minus half, and then half fade. Really not much else to say. It's the same exact hand feel. It's got super, super low profile for the watt, and then versus the pixel, it just towers over top of it, especially once you flip the two discs over. Really difference between ohm and watt is just a slight change in the shape of the rim to give it a slightly different flight, but the overall hand feel for both of these is identical. Next, we've got a Pilot. I didn't have an Electron one to compare to, but if it was the Electron Pilot, it would have the flight numbers 2, 5, minus 1, 1, and then obviously the Premium Plastic just has a zero turn instead. Uh, Profile-wise, uh, the Pilot's going to be a little bit deeper, but it's not as shallow as like the Watt or the Ohm, and then once you flip the discs over, you can really tell that, the again, the Pixel just has a much higher shoulder and an overall deeper hand feel. Moving up to the ion core though, it's got the flight numbers 2.5301 and electron plastic, making it probably one of the most comparable discs to the Pixel actually, as far as depth, hand feel, and overall flight numbers. PLH ion a smidge higher, but overall with that extra bead, not really surprised there. Once you flip the discs over, very comparable with their shoulders and heights. Now the next two discs, I could have swore I owned both of these, but I guess you're going to have to deal with stock images. We're starting off the anode, same speed as the ion, same core as the ion, 2.5 speed, 3 glide, 0 turn, and then an electron, it's got 0 fade. And overall feel in the hand is going to be pretty much identical, uh, it's just a beadless ion essentially. Um, pixel, anode, very similar, I think the pixel flight wise is going to fit somewhere between the ion and the anode, um, but the hand feel, if you're used to the ion or the anode, you're going to be very happy with that hand feel. Spin, a a little bit different I think just because the overall rim shape of the spin is very strange it's got a really low PLH kind of like that like sharp sloped edge on the bottom side of it but the core it shares the same core as the ion anode node so the overall hand feel should be similar Moving quickly on to the Atom, it's got the flight numbers 3 speed, 3 glide, minus half turn, and 0 fade for those electron blends. And for the people asking how's the Atom going to feel compared to the Pixel in the hand, uh, it's going to feel like an alien spaceship because this thing is so low profile compared to the Pixel. And if you're not used to a deeper dish putter, this one may take a little bit of getting used to for you. And for these final two discs, we're moving up an entire speed class. That's right, we're looking at the Envy and the Proxy, two of the most popular discs from Axiom Discs. Flight numbers 3 speed, 3 glide, minus 1 turn, and 2 fade for the Electron Envy. And obviously that PLH is going to be sitting a little bit higher than the Pixel. And then that hand feel, again, the lower profile feel of the Envy is going to feel quite different than the deeper dish, higher shoulder version that is the Pixel. Looking at the proxy, flight numbers, 3 speed, 3.5 glide, minus 1 and half fade for the Electron Blend. But overall, that is relatively close flight numbers to the Pixel. But like I said, you're going to have to get used to that deeper dish feel because the Pixel's got that higher shoulder even over the proxy. And it's just overall, like once you flip the disc over, like look at that, it's, it stands quite a bit taller. 
Alrighty guys, hopefully this quick comparison video gave you some good visualization of how the pixel is going to stack up against your favorite MVP Axiom or Streamline putter. If you missed our review video from last week, be sure to go click that link. It should pop up somewhere on the video or the description will have the link below. If you want to see more videos from us in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future uploads and we will see you on the next video.